London. The Imperial War Museum, where Lord Montgomery, that great soldier, opened a new document room. The old enemy lives on in pictures and in most of our memories. But there too, for all to see for the first time, is that infamous piece of paper which the then Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain brought back from Germany in September 1938. Hitler had signed it and so had Chamberlain when he visited Munich. Its message, Chamberlain vowed, was peace in our time. These historic pictures gave all Britain tremendous hope when they were first screened 30 years ago. When Chamberlain returned home to Heston Airport with this piece of paper, everyone rejoiced. Hitler's assurance in writing and Chamberlain's confirmation of the lunatic's good intentions were indeed happy news. But that promise wasn't worth the paper it was written on. Thirty years on, the man who did so much to win the war that followed relived the moments when he too signed a piece of paper, the acceptance of the German surrender. For Monty and for so many millions of others, this time the document really meant something. Now that truly historic document is there for all to see, complete with the readily forgivable error that Monty made of writing in and crossing out the wrong date. He amended it. Two pieces of paper, one worth so much, the other so little. <laughs>